discussion on left ventricular reverse remodeling left ventricular remodeling which starts initially as a beneficial process becomes detrimental later on leading to progressive worsening of left ventricular dilatation and dysfunction reverse left ventricular remodeling is a beneficial process which occurs after optimal medical therapy or cardiac resynchronization therapy in heart failure Similar reverse remodeling has been described after wall replacement and repair procedures. You and colleagues studied reverse left ventricular remodeling in 141 patients with advanced heart failure who received cardiac resynchronization therapy and was followed up for a mean period of 695 days. There were 22 deaths in the study period mostly due to heart failure and sudden cardiac death. They checked the relation between the reduction of left ventricular and systolic volume at 3 to 6 months and long term clinical outcome. They found that a reduction of left ventricular and systolic volume of 9.5% or more had a sensitivity of 70% and specificity of 70% for predicting all cause mortality. Corresponding figures for cardiovascular mortality were 87% and 69% respectively. This cutoff value identified 61.7% as responders to reverse remodeling. All-cause mortality was significantly lower in responders, 6.9% versus 30.6%. Cardiovascular mortality was 2.3% in responders compared to 24.1% in non-responders. Heart failure events were 11.5% in responders and 33.3% in non-responders. In this study, change in left ventricular and systolic volume was the single most important predictor of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. Clinical parameters could not predict outcome events in this study. Similar beneficial effect on LV remodeling was demonstrated long back in the trials with angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Studies of left ventricular dysfunction trial showed that in patients with heart failure and reduced LV ejection fraction, chronic treatment with angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor enalapril prevented progressive LV dilatation, systolic dysfunction and increase in ansystolic volume. Mean and systolic volume decreased from 106 to 93 ml per meter squared in the study group, while it increased from 103 to 116 ml per meter squared in the control group. Survival and ventricular enlargement trial with captopril showed that LV and diastolic and ansystolic areas at one year were larger in placebo group than in captopril group. They noted that LV enlargement and dysfunction after myocardial infarction were associated with the development of adverse cardiac events. Preventing ventricular enlargement with captopril was associated with a reduction in adverse events. LV reverse remodeling after CRT with more than 20% reduction in LV and systolic volume is considered to be much larger than that observed in medical therapy for heart failure. Generally, about one-third of patients do not respond well to CRT. Lack of clinical response and absence of LV reverse remodeling has been included in the definition of non-responders to CRT. A discard between those with and without left bundle branch block has been reported in a sub-study of MADIT CRT. Others compared patients with CRT alone and those with CRT and defibrillator who had echocardiograms available at one year. Patients in the substudy were stratified by the presence or absence of LBBB. In those with LBBB on CRTD, a median reduction in LV and systolic volume of more than 35% significantly reduced the risk of long-term mortality and heart failure events compared to patients with ICDs alone. In patients without LBBB, there was no survival benefit despite a reduction of LV and systolic volume more than the median 27.6%. Those with LBBB and least reverse remodeling had more than threefold risk for death compared with those with ICDs only. 
authors concluded that despite LV reverse remodeling with CRTD, there was no survival benefit and potential harm in patients without LBBB. Left ventricular reverse remodeling in patients with idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy on medical therapy has been reported in a study of 361 patients. They defined LV reverse remodeling as increase of LV ejection fraction more than or equal to 10 units or a LV ejection fraction more than or equal to 50% and a decrease in indexed LV end diastolic diameter of more than or equal to 10% or indexed LV end diastolic diameter of more than or equal to 33 mm per meter squared. LV reverse remodeling was noted in 37% of the patients surviving 2 years. LV reverse remodeling on tailored medical therapy at midterm follow up predicted a lower rate of major cardiovascular events on long term follow up. Mean follow up period was 110 months for the surviving patients after the midterm follow up at 24 months. LV reverse remodeling has been documented in patients with severe aortic regurgitation undergoing aortic valve replacement. They defined reverse remodeling of LV as more than or equal to 10% reduction in measures of LV volumes. They noted that LV reverse remodeling as assessed by the t method was underestimated by a mean of 31 ml per meter squared compared to Simpson method. Echocardiographic parameters indicating reverse LV remodeling at one year after aortic valve replacement are important predictors of long-term outcomes after aortic valve replacement. LV reverse remodeling was associated with significantly reduced event rate at two years after mitraclet procedure for mitral regurgitation. In that study, LV reverse remodeling was defined as more than or equal to 10% of the LV and diastolic diameter after 12 months. This was noted in 49% of the patients. The study included both degenerative metal regurgitation and functional metal regurgitation. In degenerative metal regurgitation, presence of recurrent or residual severe metal regurgitation at 12 months inversely predicted LV reverse remodeling. In functional MR, residual severe tricuspid regurgitation inversely predicted LV reverse remodeling. First set of journal references. Second set of journal references. Third set of journal references. Final set of references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.